Line, a 15-year-old is being charged with terrorism. It's one of the youngest ever. But this story is really about a kid who was being bullied, and he finally snapped. Brent Clark is his name. He was 14 at the time. Says he was bullied for nine straight months. Well, finally snapped, took a knife to school, and was going to go after his tormentor. Well, that kid wasn't at school. So instead, he turned on a 14-year-old girl and held a knife to her throat. She wasn't hurt, but Clark was charged with kidnapping. We'll pick up the story now with Brent Clark's mom, Danette Reed, and also their attorney, David Michael Cantor. Thank you both for joining us. Uh, mom, let's start with you. All right, where are the terrorism charges coming in? I get the kidnapping when he holds a knife to the 14 year old's throat, but where's kidnap uh, trespass uh, terrorism come in? Thank you. Um, they didn't like what he was thinking at the time. What was he thinking? He actually was thinking suicide by cop. Uh, that's the state we found him in. So he, what did he have? Didn't he have, he have items in his backpack that really alarmed you and police, right? He had a loaded gun, three knives, duct tape. His whole plan was to take his class hostage, right? And you said be killed by, by uh, police, I think they yes. called that. So what did you do? You, you find the backpack? Is that what happened? Uh, we found him in our home. Okay. And we called the police in the school asking for their assistance. Um, we took him to the police at the school and we were tricked. Uh, the next thing we knew he'd been charged and incarcerated. David, how were they tricked? Well, basically what happened was the principal and the police said, look, we want to get Brent some help, bring him down, we'll help him get committed, some psychological help and counseling. And instead, what they did was took him into custody and he spent the next eight months in a jail where he received no psychological counseling or help and was basically beat up on a regular basis. So, no help. so what are your legal options here? You're facing, uh, obviously, the kidnapping charge and holding the knife to the throat of a 14-year-old, the terrorism uh, because of what he was going to do with the stuff in his backpack and hold his class hostage, where are you going legally? Well, basically, he's sitting in his house playing video games when his father gets home and finds the backpack, which also had certain mementos and personal items, and he was planning on committing suicide, but he never left his house. He never hurt anybody. The terrorism charge is, is frankly, it's a joke, and the county attorney in this case should have never charged that. I believe it was a political stunt. In regards to the other two charges, the girl was never harmed, never cut. She was let go. She walked away. She didn't run away, and Brent is the one who ran home, and it wasn't even until the next day that the police got involved with um, Brent's family. Danette, so you have to make a call here. You could take a plea deal, and he's going to get, what, six years in jail if you plea on the terrorism charge? Or you can fight it, and there's no guarantees there. Tough decision, huh? Absolutely. Well, and, and Mike, basically, the plea deal is a minimum of two years in prison, a maximum of 8.75. But if he goes to trial and loses, his minimum is 45 years of day-for-day -day prison. So it is a tough choice. What are you? How are you feeling? You're going to get him? You feel confident at least get him off the terrorism charge? Well, the terrorism charge is being dropped pursuant to a plea agreement. Okay. And if we went to trial, yes, I'm confident that would be thrown out. But we feel that he's done enough time, and that probation. Uh, with the eight months time served would be more appropriate in this case because if you put him in prison he's not going to come out of prison a better person than he is his best shot is being at home with his mother and father getting counseling with a uh, high prison term hanging over his head to make sure that he complies yeah, and i know he said he he's taken responsibility he knows punishment uh, has come with the eight months would would if more punishment comes he okay with that as long as it's not excessive well, he, you know, he has to do what he has to do. But, you know, the message here by giving him prison time, basically the county attorney is telling people, don't call the police for help if you're a parent. Mm. Instead, take the backpack, hide it in the closet, and then tell Brent, don't answer any questions, and uh, we'll deal with just the knife charge. And if that were the case, he would have already been, this case would have been resolved. He'd be on probation right now. And he probably would have only done maybe a month or two in jail. Right, and I'm sure, myself included, I believe, Repercussions should have. There should be consequences. You hold a knife to a 14-year-old's throat, but sure. a terrorism charge and excessive years in prison. I agree that that that's too much there. Well, well Danette Reed and David Cantor. Sorry, David. We got to run. Uh, appreciate your time. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.